everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very, uh, not outdated, what is the word? I'm blanking, uh, overdue uh, February favorites. But as you guys know, I was in Miami and then LA and I got back to Vegas last week, but I've been working. So I haven't had a chance to film my February favorites, but today is the day. Basically, I'm going to run you through all of the products I was loving throughout February. And February feels like three different periods to me, um, but I still wanted to film this video because there are so many things that I was loving in February. And yes, I still will be filming a March favorites video. I like to do these every month. I try to at least. But yeah, if you want to hear all about my favorites from February, which I hope you do because I love these videos, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Um, let's start off with makeup. I have spoken about this before, um, I think like last year, but I really want to mention this again. I try not to mention favorites more than once because I'm always getting new stuff and you guys might be bored of, you know, hearing about it. But when I revisit products and I really heavily revisit them, I'm like, okay, well, this is a true monthly favorite. This is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. It came out, I think, in 2019 or 2020. It's one of those primers that you twist it off and you do have to dunk your fingers in, which I'm sorry, it looks a little bit gross, but you dunk your fingers in like this. It's not the most hygienic, but it leaves the silkiest texture on your face. This is a primer I truly enjoy going with, you know, if I wash my face in the morning, you know, do my morning skincare routine, and then I redo my makeup for the afternoon or for the evening, and I put on moisturizer preceding my makeup, so I don't want to go on and shellac a whole other layer of primer necessarily, especially when I'm freshly washed and moisturized. This is the kind of primer I will go in with because it's so lightweight, it's so thin and easy and just melts into your skin. This is a mattifying version they have I think a regular poreless putty primer and then they have a I think luminizing one now but obviously I got the matte one because I do have oily skin um, and I just love how lightweight it is I really love that you can have a precise targeted application of where you want to apply this primer to so it really does a great job of smoothing your skin it's got some good skin loving ingredients in there and it's not heavy at all which I use this year round, but especially for the spring and summer when it gets warmer, it's going to be like all I'm gonna be using. Well, not all, but I will definitely be using it a lot in these upcoming months as well. I need to give a shout out to this. Now this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder, and I really fell in love with this when I took it with me to Miami, and you guys, if you watch my Miami vlog or my last get ready with me when I was trying out my magnetic lashes, I spoke about this briefly. I will link both of those videos down below and above if you wanna watch them. But basically I raved about this powder because I truly put it to the test when I was in Miami. You know, it's hot there right now. So I was walking around in shorts and t-shirts. I was wearing a mask. It was sweaty. It was rainy. It, I was walking miles. So I really feel like I put this through all the tests that I could have and it held my makeup up so well. Yes, the cover effects, um, setting spray did help as well but even without that like this powder really is awesome it's just a standard you know compact powder that's why I wanted to bring it because it is a pressed powder and, and I like to travel with pressed powders as opposed to loose powders it's got a flesh like um tone to it and I don't know if they have other shades and honestly when you swatch it it looks almost invisible like you can't really see the product on my skin it's not one of those heavy cakey full like coverage powders it's not a powder foundation it's just meant to set your makeup and i loved using it with this wet and wild brush this is so random but um i brought this as my powder brush this is the wet and wild powder brush you can literally get this at the dollar store and i think using it with a smaller powder brush works better than you know something like large i usually use a larger powder brush like I'll show you for comparison. These are typically like the sizes of powder brushes I like using because it's just so big and just gets more surface area. Obviously you can see the powder compact is bigger than the brush size. So it just allows you to get really get in there and go over every single part of your face in a really precise manner. So I think it worked out great applying it that way. I wanna switch gears really quickly to another kind of face product, but it's not like a makeup product. I hauled this in like my Ulta haul I did like a few months ago. This is something that I've also seen at like Bed Bath & Beyond and you know a bunch of random other like stores but this is the Flawless um, Rose Gold Facial Razor. You can also get this at CVS. I've seen this there as well. Basically it's a batter 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 battery powered um, face roller. I don't know if you can hear it. Can you hear it? I'm putting it next to my mic. It turns on and it vibrates and I use this every single morning. I use both attachments and let me explain. So first thing in the morning, when I do my morning skincare routine, I put this on, by the way, it's so easy to screw on the attachments on and off. Like, so for example, this is the Rose Gold um, Facial Roller and this was like 20 bucks when I bought it, I think, I believe. You turn it on, basically there's an on off button. And so basically my morning skincare routine is as follows. I will go into the bathroom, wash my hands, brush my teeth, 
wash my face i mean there's obviously multiple steps within each thing but you know just whatever i'll spare you the details wash my face and then i will go in and apply my serum serum first i rotate serums every morning and then i'll go in with um a spray right now i'm using the 43 beauty fresh af mist and then before i apply my spf i will take this facial roller and just go over my face and i love doing this in the morning it just helps to puff your face um helps with lymphatic drainage i also use a gua sha but this you know has replaced my gua sha for now I go over you know my stress points my high points my brow bone my temple even on your neck the back of your neck and you can stay there as long as you like i know some people like putting it in the fridge i happen to love rose quartz as a crystal as well i mean i have one of my nights and I have them all over my house, I have it in my bathroom. And then once I do that, because I feel like it also helps penetrate the serums into your face more, I'll go on with my um, sunscreen and then I'll apply my eye cream. And then with my eye cream, I just attach this head to it right here like so and then this also vibrates and you might think like oh my god is that gonna cause wrinkles i honestly don't do it that hard so i'll just lightly just kind of put it underneath my eyes and maybe just do one or two passes one or two because i really do feel like it helps depuff under your eyes as well and also because you have eye cream under there too it's going to really help push the eye cream deeper into your skin i wouldn't do this on your bare under eyes but if you have eye cream there i feel like it really helps um you know like make it penetrate more and I love it so much. So get yourself these. I got these at Ulta, but you can get them honestly anywhere. Another face product I wanna mention is this. This is the M Skincare Charcoal Mud Mask, Draw It Impurities and Daily Buildup for Smooth and Healthy Skin. First of all, I love this packaging. I just think it's so like, there's something about it that makes me so happy. Like it's just so, I was gonna say pure, pure is not the word. It's like very minimalistic, very statement, very sturdy. Nectarite clay detoxifies congested skin and hydrates for a balanced complexion. And I truly love this. M Skin Care, I feel like is so underrated. You can find it at Ulta, it's affordable. This was like $8 and you get 4.2 fluid ounces of product. I love the consistency of this because it is a charcoal clay mask where it does dry down and it sucks the impurities out of your skin, but it's not harsh at all. It's not one of those ones where it literally cracks off your skin. It still maintains a level of like moisture, if that makes sense. It does pull the stuff out, but it's not gonna be super duper harsh where you're like, my skin is dying it's not like an aztec clay indian mask even for me with oily skin that's way too harsh for me this is so nice i feel like it could work for all skin types it's got really really great reviews on ulta so i feel like that speaks for itself it's so easy to apply a really clean layer and i love that the top doesn't get messy like i honestly for all of my masks i just apply it onto like a um, foundation brush that i repurposed you can use something like this this is the Luxie Beauty Foundation Brush. Any kind of flat foundation brush, you just apply it on and just paint it onto your face. I personally like doing that better because I feel like it just gets more coverage. Um, and I love the consistency of this. I love the smell. It's very mild. I love the experience. Something about an even face mask application that really makes me happy. I don't know what it is. I'm just like weird like that. But this is great. I recommend it to anybody who's in the market of trying something that's natural, cruelty-free, underrated, affordable, and just great. So run to your Ulta, get this mask. I really, really recommend it. I see great results. It leaves my skin glowing afterwards. It doesn't feel like it's like red and tingly and irritated. It just works great, and I love it. Okay, back to um, a couple more makeup products. This is something that I've had for so long, but I really wanna give it a shout out because it is the eyeliner I've been using on my tight line every single time I apply eye makeup. It's the eyeliner I have on my tight line right now, which if you guys don't know what your tight line is, it's basically your waterline underneath your upper lash line. This is the number seven Stay Perfect Amazing Eyes Pencil. It's just a black eyeliner, very simple, but I am picky about black eyeliners and I absolutely love that this, yes, it is a wooden, sorry, you can see how old it is. It literally like comes off every time I open it because the pencil's like, you know, separated. Um, but yes, it is one of the ones that you have to sharpen. It is a wooden eyeliner, but honestly, I don't mind that. And I do find kind of like my Essence Black Love eyeliner, like sometimes the creamiest eyeliners are in wooden pencil form. Like I feel like it's a common misconception these days where if something's in a wooden pencil, be it a lip liner or an eyeliner, it's going to be harsher and rougher on your skin than something that comes like in a retractable tip. I don't believe in that at all. I mean, some, yes, of course, but it's not a blanket rule because I do have some like retractable pencils where it's an eyeliner or a lip liner that um, don't go on as easily and do not stay as 
pigmentedly on your waterline or lip line so um i think it varies from product to product but this is a good one it is obviously a little bit more expensive than the essence one you can find this at target and i think ulta i think ulta has number seven honestly it's just really good it's a stay perfect amazing eye pencil i'm going to sharpen it right now because i need to um i just use the ulta sharpener i have two of these i got them like randomly and yeah it just sharpens really really nicely watch barely any pressure and it just glides on and it stays on your waterline it's so black it's very matte it's an awesome awesome pencil and i love it i just wanted to give it a shout out because i've been using it like crazy this month whenever i have done any sort of eye makeup i always always use that pencil okay the last makeup product which the rest are just beauty products so the last makeup cosmetic item i want to give a shout out to is this this is the mark jacobs um what is this the enamored high shine lip gloss in the shade work it i got this during the fall vib sale last year but i have been using it so much this past month it's the gloss i have on my lips right now like it is so shiny mark jacobs makes some of the best cosmetics and yes he's a luxury brand but i love that he's a luxury brand that's cruelty free like that really just does it for me um i'm also wearing the nyx lip pencil in the shade nutmeg i love this lip liner i spoke about it last month it is one of my favorites ever i love the color i love a good brownie nude you can build this up where it's like very deep and rich or you can just do one light layer and it just goes on like your lips but better a little bit something else but i love that this does not wash you out because i can't do lip colors that wash you out unless i'm deliberately trying to do a very nude lip if i have a very bold eye i love a darker kind of nude um and this is a brown this is fully a brown but i love how glossy this formula is how pigmented it is and it smells so good it smells like mint it's amazing it's not like plumping or anything it doesn't hurt your lips but it's got such a beautiful consistency where it's not too ceramy like i love the tower 28 lip gloss this is awesome but this formula is definitely very very ceramy more um jelly like it's like a hybrid between this and hmm, i'm looking at all of my lip glosses in my collection and something like the ColourPop so juicy where this is very thick and tacky but very high shine this is very jelly and ceramy but very high shine this is like if these two had a baby this is what this formula would be in my opinion because it's got that perfect mix of it being ceramy and it's not sticky at all but it stays on for a very good amount of time considering that it is a lip gloss without it being too like tacky and too sticky which sometimes i like but i'm saying like comfort wise this is a very very comfortable formula and i highly recommend it and i love the color okay um let's go back to my like body slash miscellaneous products i honestly have to give a shout out to this and i know it's not cruelty free but i have been on a fragrance kick lately like i honestly just got gucci guilty which um is awesome this is a great perfume too and let me know if you guys want me to do like a perfume collection video i'm gonna probably order two more during the vib sale i honestly have like 10 perfumes i've had my eye on to get um so maybe once i accumulate more because i only have eight here which i know may seem like uh, but like i want to have more to give you like more of a collection and um i'm not like a perfume hoarder by any means but i watch kathleen lights a lot and i know she is a perfume like queen um she's obsessed with perfumes so i love watching her perfume videos and learning about different notes and things like that from her and what she has so perfect segue to this this is something that she really put me onto because this is like her favorite perfume at the moment this is the dolce and gabbana the only one perfume i got mine at ulta i got the smallest size because i didn't know if i was gonna love it this is the one fluid ounce thing and honestly it's fine because working from home i'm not really going out much but holy crap i will literally smell this perfume every day i don't put it on i don't spray it but god it smells so good like i'll spray it right now just because i'm feeling frisky but like oh one spray will last you for hours it's so good it's so long lasting it's sweet but honestly the way she described it i would have imagined it to be like way sweeter but it is a grown-up sweet it's like um a gourmand scent with like a very fancy twist it's like gucci guilty like that kind of sensual fragrance but more sweet and more like nighttime in my opinion like I wore this out to um, dinner with a friend and um, I honestly was so, I was, I distinctly remember I was driving back that night from dinner and I had had this perfume on for like three hour, three or four hours at that point. And I just remember like smelling myself and I was like, oh my God, I love this perfume so much. I remember like raving about it to my friends. If you want a new perfume, get this, but it's not like one of those like daytime fresh perfumes, um, but it's one of those great sweet but grown up 
like elegant perfumes. Like I think you can wear this to any occasion, honestly, and nobody would look at you and be like, ugh, like that's too much. I don't think this would offend anybody. You know, obviously don't go spraying your whole body like 85 times. I think one to two to three spritzes is enough, but it's one of those ones where it does really mesh well, at least with my body chemistry, and you do smell it on yourself, not in like a sickly way, but you know how sometimes when you wear perfume, you stop smelling yourself, but other people can still smell you? This one, I feel like you can still smell yourself, and I love it. This is my top favorite of the month. I just sprayed it on my neck, and I can like get the whiff, and it's so, so amazing. I highly recommend this. If you're in the mood for a sophisticated, elegant, perfume it's just so beautiful i need to mention this because this was the cream that i finished using up in february so i'm all done it took me like two to three months to use this but i have it in my empties bag which i will be filming an updated empties video soon but i love this honestly i bought this on a whim i think i was in la and i think i just went to like the nearby like face values because i didn't have any body cream like at my parents house in my bathroom there so i was like okay like i love shea moisture they have really good body products good hair products so i thought why not give it a shot um first of all this is 12 ounces so this is a big daddy right here and it is so rich i really wanted to mention this because if you have really dry skin and you're looking for a body cream to help alleviate your dryness get this body cream it's so good it's so rich but it's not greasy at all they have manuka honey yogurt and vitamin c honestly it smells good. It smells so good. It's not like sickly sweet. It's like a uniquely sweet scent, but you really do smell the honey, which I love. Um, and it's not like the lush sleepy lotion, which I have and I love. It's like right there in this <laughs> tub. I put it on every single night before bed, but that is a little bit more greasy. That has a greasier consistency. I love it, but this is a cream where it's more thick than that cream like you it's like a how do i describe it it's like when you get like a dollop you know how some body creams are like more like solid they don't like melt they're not as liquidy it's like you scoop out a chunk and it stays like that it stays like in that form in your hand this is so weird i can't describe anything i suck this is just great get it for yourself it's awesome it lasts for a really really long time it's cruelty free ethically traded it's the manuka honey and yogurt skin renewal recipe body yogurt and moisturizer it leaves your skin moisturized honestly for so long i love my trader joe's body butter it's one i'm using right now i've spoken about it before it's my go-to body butter because it's so easy for me to get but this makes your skin stay softer and more hydrated longer than that one does so this is like an extra heavy duty moisturizing cream two more products kind of on that note i want to talk about the bali bomb sweet orange and coconut lip balm you guys know i'm a sucker for lip balms this is the one that i keep like next to my couch because i've said i need to keep a lip balm with me literally in every crevice and corner of my house and my being because i have dry lips it is a packaging where you have to like squeeze out the product like that and then you just apply it to your lips um and it even says here in cold weather massage the tube between your fingers to soften the balm now i love this because it really does make your lips stay hydrated for a really long time i have tried so many lip balms and there are so many that i love but they don't really linger on your lips this one is more of like a not as emollient lip balm let me try to show you what i mean it still is very th oh my god why did i put it right there it still is very very thick um and it melts into your skin i love how long this stays on the only thing i don't really love i have a love-hate relationship with is i love the scent sweet orange and coconut beautiful but it's one of those ones where you put on your mouth and then you can kind of start to taste it a little bit i don't know if it's just me but maybe the smell is so potent and strong that i just kind of like feel it overtaking all of like my senses and I, it kind of is a little bit overwhelming and i don't really enjoy the taste but maybe that's just me let me know if you agree or disagree if you have this product or if you know what i'm talking about in general but regardless i love it because i don't have to reapply this so often like i could literally be on the couch barbecue sauce on my titties watching youtube watching basketball watching whatever it is i'm doing on the couch and apply it and like for the next few hours i know i'm good so this is a good one last but not least i want to shout out my Nespresso pods. I like trying new pods willy-nilly. I'll go to the store in LA whenever I'm in LA and I'll get pods there with my dad. This is a virtual pod because I do have a virtual machine. Um, this is a Bianco Leggero pod. And this is my favorite Nespresso pod. I've tried so many. I am like an espresso freak. But this is my favorite because it is meant to be mixed with like milk. It is meant to be enjoyed like in a latte. That's why it's like a smaller like espresso thing. I also love double espresso Chiaro, but I feel like this is more milky and more sweet. So I will literally take this 
guys pour this either over ice or into a cup and then I will use my Nespresso frother and froth like oat milk for this I do more milk because it's supposed to be like a latte-esque thing so you do more milk um and I'll just froth like this much milk pour it in and it is so delicious I don't add sweetener or anything especially when I use this pod because it is so delicious on its own and the flavor really comes out when you mix it with milk so any kind of milk you like you can even add syrup whatever you want you can really just have fun with it but I personally love it just plain as it is with milk it is so delicious all right everybody and that was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed me talking about my february favorites i know this is a little bit late and i apologize but i still wanted to share these products with you because i really 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 was loving them um but yes i have a lot of videos lined up i got my bath and body works items in so i'm trying those out and then i will be doing a haul for you very very soon i think that should be the next couple of videos maybe the next video or the one after that that i will be uploading but yeah stay tuned for that and yeah, I hope you're having a great day, a great March so far. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, please. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.